So now let's dig into the third law of motion, which is a conceptual thing for the most part, but it's actually important in some mechanics of uh, what we're calculating, is that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And the way I think about this one is for every force, there is an equal and opposite force that occurs. Now, this is probably one of the most misunderstood ones that students run into when they're talking about what are the third, there, you'll be asked about what are third law pairs. So when drawing a free body diagram, there's always another object that is causing a force. Okay, we talked about like the ground or the rope or things like that. The object causing the force feels an equal and opposite force on itself. So let me give you, let me kind of demonstrate this. Okay, so let me open up my video. So there's a wall here right next to me. I think this spot right here you can see. Okay, so I can apply a force in that direction on the wall. So look at my hand. From my perspective, my hand, from the, if you draw a free body diagram of the wall, the wall is feeling a force that way. The wall is like, oh, I'm feeling a force that way. Like if I were Superman strong enough, this wall would fall over because I'm applying such a great force to it, right? So I'm applying a force that way on the wall. So from the free body diagram of the wall's perspective, it feels a force going that way. Now what Newton's third law says is any if I'm going to push on it, with a force, I'm going to experience a force myself. So I feel this wall because the wall, from my perspective, you draw a free body diagram my hand or myself, the wall is pushing a force on me in this direction, right? So the, 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 the thing about Newton's third law is whatever force I'm applying to the wall, the wall is applying the same amount of force to me, but the opposite direction. I'm applying a force let's see, to the right in this video, from your perspective, you're like, to the right, but the wall is pushing, is, is, is pushing back on me with a force to the left. And the thing is, it's the same magnitude, just opposite directions. I push on the wall to the right, the wall pushes on me to the left. So this is super important. The equal and opposite force is not on the same free body diagram. The wall is experiencing a force, I'm experiencing a force, those two are the same amount, just opposite directions. But the wall is not experiencing both the equal and opposite forces the entire time. Okay, so this is really, really important that we understand. So all we're going to do on this exercise is just making sure that we understand what are the force law pairs. All right, so let's go through a few examples where we draw the free body diagram and identify the, um, the Newton's third law pair. So we have a book resting on a flat table. We want to draw the free body diagram, identify the Newton's third law. So the book subject to gravity, right? Gravity is pointing down towards the center of the earth. Then the table is touching it. That exerts a force perpendicular to the surface. That's upward. And that's a normal force. And one of the things with Newton's third law is you want to identify what's causing the object. So the table is causing the normal force here, and this is the earth, okay? Now for the Newton's third law pair, for this guy right here, what is his corresponding pair? Is that the, the earth is pulling on the book. So the Newton's third law is the book pulls on the earth. Okay, so that means if I were to draw a free body diagram of the earth down here, where the earth is pulling on this book, and so we're having an equal and opposite force, where the book is pulling upward on the earth with the same force. That, that might feel unintuitive, because you'd be like, wow, the book seems really weak. Why is it pulling up the same force? Well, the earth's very massive. It doesn't feel that force relative to its size, but it does experience this equal and opposite force there. And note that it's on the object that's causing the force. That's where the equal and opposite is being applied. So it's like the earth pulls on the book, the book pulls on the earth, same amount of force, but opposite direction. For this one over here, it's the table that's pushing up on the book. So the implication is now the book pushes down uh, on the table, okay? Pushes down on the table. That's the equal and opposite there, right? So the table exerts an upward force on the book but then the table experiences a downward force from the book. So the table pushes up on the book, the book pushes down on the table, okay? So remember, it's the free body diagrams of the other objects, the, the objects that are causing the force. That is what is experiencing that equal and opposite force. Okay, let's take a look at this one here. We have a ball hanging motionless from the ceiling by a string. All right, draw a free body diagram of the ball. So let's just go through our free body diagram process first. We have gravity. 
again, caused by the earth here, right? And then what's touching it is we have a string. So we have a tension force pulling up on it. And this is caused by the rope or the rope here or string. At least they call it string in the problem, right? String. So what is the Newton's third law pair? That's everything that's touching it. So we're kind of done, right? So in this one, it's the earth, the, the Newton's third law pair would be the, uh, the, so this is the earth pulling on the ball. It's the ball pulling up on the earth. And for this one, it's the string pulling up on the ball. And so then there's an equal and opposite. The ball is pulling on the string. So here it's the ball pulling down on the string. So that's the equal and opposite part there, right? Again, it's the other objects interacting with the ball that are experiencing the equal and opposite, right? Okay, let's take a look at a more complicated scenario. We have an apple on top of a block on top of a table here. We want to draw free, two free body diagrams, one of the apple and one of the block. Okay, so let's look at the apple first. Apple has gravity, right? It's near the Earth's surface, so we have gravity. This is on the we'll say on the apple, the A for apple. And then what's touching it is well, the block is exerting is touching it. It exerts a surface. It's from the surface, so this is pulling upward. F normal force from the block, and so let's just the, so the Earth is causing this one, and the block is causing this one, right? Now that's everything that's touching the apple. So we're done with that free body diagram. Now let's look at the block. Block has gravity. Gravity from the apple. Oh yeah, this should be, or sorry, sorry, gravity from the earth is on the block. Then what's touching the block? Well, the apple's touching it. It exerts a downward force, normal force from the apple. This is caused by the apple. What other surface is touching it? Well, it's sitting on the table here. That exerts a pushing normal force from the table. Okay, and this is caused by the table here. And that's everything that's touching the block. So we're now we're done with the force on the free body diagram block. Now, where are the Newton laws pairs? Okay, so I think, uh, oh yeah, we had, this is caused by the earth. Okay, so this is really important to note is that this one, this is the earth sorry, the, the apple pulling on the earth. Okay, that's the Newton's third law pair. And then this is this is interesting one because the block is pushing up on the apple, the apple is pushing back on the block. These two are pairs, Newton's laws pairs, right? So the block pushes up on the apple and the, the apple pushes down on the block. You should honestly, these two values will be the same numerical value. Whatever the magnitude of this force ends up being, it's the same magnitude of the force over here. Okay, so these are this is a this is a Newton's law pair because the apple, the block is pushing up on the apple, so then the apple pushes down on the block, and you can see that from our fruit body diagram rules. This one is the block pushing down on the table. And then this is the block pulling up on the earth. But notice how it's equal and opposite. It's always the other object. It's always the other thing experiencing the thing causing the force that's experiencing the force here. So notice here, this one is upwards, this one is downward, but they're equal and opposite. And that's because it's the apple pushing up on the block, block pushing down on the apple. All of these forces, see this one's pointing down, but the apple's pulling up on the earth. The block is pulling up on the earth, even though the earth is pulling down, right? That's the opposite direction there. And that's what we mean. It's a vector direction. Opposite. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you found it really helpful. If you'd like more support, maybe you need more multiple choice practice, maybe you just need more guidance and things like that. I have plenty of information on my website. If you look in the description below and go to www.bothellstemcoach.com, uh, I will explain all the ways I help students be successful in their AP classes.